We are here at the Golden Apple Books booth at WonderCon Anaheim. With me is Ryan. Ryan, how's it going? I'm doing great, man. This show's been exciting. It's been just it's just great to like get the response of what we're doing now, which is, you know, we've always been a comic book shop in Hollywood for almost 40 years, and now we launched a publishing company. So we just added the word books to our logo, yeah. and now we have a, a, a line of uh, comics coming out this year. Yeah, I was gonna say let's start there. Yeah, how how are you are you having fun and everything? But congratulations on Golden Apple Books. I'm having thank you. I'm having the best time because you know for the first time I don't have to just have like a store booth where I'm just trying to sell yeah. random stuff. Yeah. And I don't. I usually do these booth games and I try to make it real fun and interactive where people win prizes. And you got to hustle is what I'm saying. And this is a whole different experience when I have a new product to show them that we created that we own that we we're bringing to the marketplace instead of me selling Marvel or DC or something like that uh, which I'm still going to continue to do in my shop of course but now I can bring something new to the table and and new product to other comic book stores all around the world now I don't want to be the hipster the hater but I gotta ask in an age when everything is going digital why a bookstore why what why a bookstore you mean like why do I own a bookstore? Yeah. yeah, why do books when everything is going digital? I mean, you still need to do books. I mean, like the printed comics are, you know, what people like. I mean, I think my customers, we've had, you know, we've had a comic book store for a very long time and even through the digital age, people still keep coming to us and they're coming more and more because they're collectible. They, people want to touch them, feel them, smell them. They want to yeah, put them in a bag. Say, and a, Don't forget to smell. <laughs> they want to smell. is a big yeah. thing. You should see my customers literally <laughs> smell comics. Yeah. They want to put them in a bag and a board. They want to put them in a box in order, alphanumeric in their closet. You can't do that with a digital book. A digital comic is great to read, but it's never going to be worth anything. You know, there's comics now worth millions of dollars in the world. There's new comics that are worth hundreds of dollars. First printings, you know, worth stuff. You can't get that through a digital comic. I'm not saying digital comics suck. We're going to do digital day and date versions of all of our books because there's a there's an audience for digital with the new you know tablets and phones right. and all that, and there's a there's an audience for you know traditional comic book readers. People want to go into a store. You know you can go on a on a website, but it's a completely different shopping experience when you come into a store like Golden Apple. We're there, we can talk to you, we can recommend things. You can see it, touch it, smell it, all yeah. that good stuff. And you know, it, it's just a complete, you know, brick and mortar stores are important. Yeah, so what kind of books are you gonna have or where are you gonna get the books that you guys, that you guys are gonna sell? Well, funny you should ask. We have our first ever book right here. It's called Blastosaurus. Um, this is going to be the first book that we solicit through Diamond. You know, mm -hmm. they're the uh, the yeah. big monopoly in the comic book dis distributing world, and uh, we're an official publisher with them. We're really excited about that, and so this will be shipping to comic book shops in July. Um, so we're doing single issues right now. So this is Blastosaurus Zero, and then there'll be issue one, two, three, and then our second book is called Adventure Van, and we have a free preview of it here at the show. It's like the first ten or twelve pages. Just to give you a little sample of what's to come, um, but we're you know we're physically printing you know real comic books. We're using the same printer as some of the top publishers in comics, like Image and IDW use the exact same printer as me, and um, you know so we're matching the quality of the comics I sell every day at my shop, and so we're we're really coming at this you know legit you know where this isn't like a little indie side project I'm doing. I mean, I'm really kind of putting my money where my mouth is. We have some of the best creators working in comics. We have celebrities. And it's just a really fun experience. And something different, you know, I don't want to just sell comics at the counter, you know, every day for the rest of my life. I want to do other things. And so publishing is, was a natural progression. Yeah, yeah, and he means that. I mean, like, behind you signing, if you see him, is Dan Folk. Where is he? He was He's right there. He's behind me. There's Bogler. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Michael McMillan was just here, who is yeah. the, the creator of Adventure Van. He's on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend right now. He was on True Blood. Um, we also have Lindsay Sterling, who's you know the star of one of our books. Lindsay is one of the biggest you know musicians in the world right now, um, and she's literally the face 
of the character Sparrow, and it's her it's her spirit, and it's her her likeness. Her dog is in it, who's a celebrity, <laughs> you know herself, Luna. A cameo. So, um, no, she's one of the main characters so, in the book. So what I'm hearing though, the Golden Apple Books, it's a full service publisher, or, or yeah, yeah, it's not just like a one off thing. I mean, we have three new titles debuting this year, and if things go well, maybe we'll have ten more next year. You know, I being a comic book shop owner in Hollywood for as long as we've been, I've gotten to know all these creators actors, celebrities, writers, artists, and they they always have passion projects, they always have new ideas, and now I'm a hub where they can bring them to and I could I could bring them to the market. You know, we can actually yeah. you know have a label they can get behind that's got cool comics for, for cool people. Well yeah, like I said you mentioned you've met all these people, but here at WonderCon I'm sure you've met a few over the weekend and, and our listeners are, are some of them are independent creators will you work with them can they approach you guys and say hey can you help us out and maybe get us published yeah absolutely except that i don't want to i don't want to go too big too fast yeah and, and crash and burn it's an expensive uh you know hobby what we're doing here it's an expensive endeavor it's yeah. not really a hobby so we got three we've put together it's taken a few years to get to this point and now we're launching these three titles and then I would say as early as next year, we might start taking submissions um, from from creators. I mean, but absolutely, if you have a comic and you have some, you know, indie book you have you've either done or you're considering doing, and you want to throw it my way, we we'd love to hear about it. It might take a while to to you know to get off the ground because we we have three other books to debut first. Yeah. But we'll get to it eventually, and we'll give it as much time and effort and money and support as we can. We love indie comic creators. We love the spirit. We love the creativity of it. And we just want to bring good books out. And uh, so this is what we're doing. Yeah, so let's end on that note. Give them the website, social media, everywhere they can find okay, everything yeah. called an Apple Books. You can get us. Um, a lot of the social media is G Apple Comics or G Apple Books. Um, Facebook's more traditional Golden Apple Comics or Golden Apple Books. And um, really our, our, our website, goldenapplecomics.com, is really where you can buy everything, get the information you need. You can get exclusives there. Um, you're going to hear about signings like this that we're doing, conventions that we're doing, in-store events we're doing. Go to goldenapplecomics.com and support local businesses like mine trying to, you know, change things and, and add to the comic book community. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll end on that. Ryan, again, congratulations and Thank wish you. you nothing but the best. Hey, I really appreciate it, man.